Hola, Woodworkers. Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. I'm going to show you today a build that is very easy and super effective for pretty much any workshop. It's a particularly good early build for a beginning woodworker, but it's definitely something that adds to even the more experienced woodworkers workshop. And that is a set of saw stallions. Saw stallions are saw horses that are trestle style. And these particular ones, you can either put in match fit dovetail grooves or not. They work perfectly well without them. You need about nine eight foot two by fours to build these two uh, saw stallions. There's only four components involved. This bottom rail that connects the two legs, the legs, the top, and the feet. And each of those is independently very easy to put together. You can also laminate two pieces of half inch Baltic birch plywood together and make that a, into a top and then either lace that top with uh, dovetail grooves again and dog holes or just leave it plain if you want to use it more as an assembly table. So what I'm going to do now is show you pictures of these being used in a lot of different configurations in the typical workshop. Hopefully you're as excited about these puppies as I am. So again, let me remind you that the plans for these are available over at smallworkshopguy.com. You won't need any support videos. It's not that complicated and it's an easy build for even a very beginner. First, let's talk about the uh, feet. The feet are nothing more than a block of wood uh, with a mortise in the middle of them. I'm not going to give any dimensions in this video. The dimensions are all in the, the uh, SketchUp plans that I provide. Uh, but anyway, I've just exactly centered that mortise. The, uh, the tannin this is going to be a blind mortise because the tenon is going to have cheeks on it and so this doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you just have to be able to get a nice square or snug fit so that when you glue this up to the uh, legs everything will be nice and stable. You might even uh, put some dowels through once you've got it all glued up in order to add even more stability. 
All right, so there's the feet. Now, I am going to, for looks purposes, do some shaping of the edges. Uh, and I will certainly do that before I do the glue up. Uh, I'm going to, in this process, I'm going to get the main body, everything except for the feet, glued up together. And then that will allow me to come in and do my dovetail grooves where the pieces are already joined so I can do a dovetail groove running perfectly straight all the way down because I do that when it's all assembled. All right, the second uh, piece is this bottom rail. It's designed so that one end of it, the tenon here, goes through a, a through mortise and it aligns with the edge of the workpiece. The, and so one tenon here is shorter. The other tenon on the other side is a line to go all the way through. And it's longer, twice as long as this tenon. Uh, I do some dimensioning on them to get them down to about one and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I start putting the pieces together. But look at the plans for all of that. So one piece down the middle of a certain length with two rectangular pieces of a different length simply glued on to the longer piece. The top is almost as simple as that rail. The, there's two rectangular pieces on the outside of a given length. No profile to them, nothing. They're just perfectly rectangular uh, pieces of two by four. To create this mortise on that one board in the middle, I ran that over my table saw, in my case with a dado stack on it, and I just cut this mortise of a certain width and length <coughs> through the entire center board. So I didn't carve this out. I didn't do it with a router. I just passed that center board over the table saw. And there's two different legs, obviously. I have two pieces of wood that are nothing more than rectangular when they start. And then I use the uh, dado stack on the table saw to just cut a tenon. By running this over the dado stack at a right height, I create the two outside boards. And all they do is they have a little profile here where there's a cheek here and a cheek here and a cheek here. Then the center board is actually, this is just a rectangular piece of wood here in the middle. I look to the plans to see how long it is. And then here's another separate piece with the profile again cut on it by passing it over the dado stack. Three boards, uh, three and a quarter wide, about one and a quarter thick. Mine is a little bit over that bound together with duct tape or uh, with painter's tape. Get the three boards on their edge. So you can see one, two, three facing up. We're going to go uh, 1.75 deep and a height of 0.75. So this is set to 0.75. All right, so uh, here we go. It's a very simple build. 
you're going to build four feet, you're going to build four legs, two tops, and two bottom rails, and they're going to go together as is shown here. Then I'm going to put dovetail grooves every place, and, and then I'm going to do some uh, profile just for looks on the feet. And that will become a pair of saw stallions. You can then create your top, which is just going to be uh, two sheets of half inch plywood of a certain rectangular dimension. Just two sheets laminated together in a certain way to make sure it doesn't bow or anything. And then we lace the top of that, of that um, workbench top with dovetail grooves kind of going across and back both ways. So you can use these as saw stallions, which is the way they're used 99%, 95% of the time. But when you want a full scale workbench out in your carport or your driveway, or in an open space of your workshop, then you just throw the top on there, secure it with some match fit dovetail clamps, and now you've got a real sturdy pop-up workbench. When you don't need them, they just uh, collapse together and store over in the corner of your garage.